we're just going to uh, have a final 15 minutes of free for all. <clears throat> I'm looking for Stacy Will um, Wallace um, and uh, I think Sally Evans was going to join us from the other rooms and we're going to try they, to do. They just might not be back from the rooms yet, John. Yeah. We'll give it a couple of minutes here. Um, so um, Heidi, I don't know. Um, we left this kind of uh, informal and unstructured other than, you know, trying to do something fun <clears throat> and close out. But I personally just want to <clears throat> thank everyone for the wonderful day. It went out, I think without really any technical glitches and um, well, you know, uh, our hosts and uh, moderators have held everybody to the gun and we've, you know, completed things on schedule and I'm really overwhelmed how successful this is. Um, I cannot duplicate the physical conference experience, but there are a lot of interesting facets to this. So Sally's now joined us and she's Hello. spotlighted. So Sally, welcome. Oh, hello. Thank you. I hope room A is going well. Yes, it is. Um, so I see a comment here. This was my first um, ETD uh, conference. Can't wait to go to one in person. So I don't know if folks want to turn on their videos and maybe just for a minute I can turn off the spotlights and we can see each other and, you know, maybe folks could share a word in the chat about, um, you know, their experience and, and maybe something that they learned or something that they're excited about. But if nothing else, we can say a big hello to each other. So I'm going to turn off the spotlights just for a minute. And you can toggle up at the top um, right, um, there's a gallery view, and you can toggle between that and speaker view, and the gallery view will let you see everybody's smiling faces there, and you can scroll around. I think we have 49 people with us at the moment, but people may be returning. I also sent an email out to everybody um, during the last plenary session, so if people were reminded to come back and join us. It's wonderful to see so many smiling faces. Yeah, and again, if you want to turn on your video and say hi. If you have any comments, uh, I guess you can unmute and just, uh, you know, feel free. Also, if, yeah, also, if you have your cocktail or if you want to bring a pet. Oh, good. I see some pets. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, there's pets. Oh, yes. Hold on. Yes. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> I had my husband take the kids. Otherwise, I do usually have a six-month-old and a two-and-a-half-year-old at home with us. So it's been interesting and lots of fun, but baby cuddles are always wonderful at the end of the night, especially now. <laughs> uh, John, I want to thank you for all the hard work you've put into this and for everybody that supported you in terms of getting this session together. Uh, it went very well, in my opinion, and it's very efficient. It's extremely efficient. If you think about the time and the footwork that we've had with being able to eliminate as a result of meeting online, it's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, it's great to meet in person too, but uh, for efficiency's sake, uh, this is really efficient. Thank you so much, Larry. But really, I have to give credit to our wonderful board of directors. I'm just one of many helpers here. And, uh, you know, it's sometimes like herding cats and sometimes it's a big party. And, you know, <laughs> but we enjoy what we do and we believe in it. And I think that's, that's the important thing and that we bring our community, to, community together. So thank you again for the, the compliments. And I'll let John say he, 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 has control, he keeps us on the line and on track, <laughs> believe me. Remind us that you will send out a list of all the people who were participants because I actually copied some of the comments sections and it's like, I need to talk to that person. I want to talk to that person. So if I know their name and, and their contact information or the university where they're at, That'll be helpful for any of us who want to follow up privately on certain topics. Yes, absolutely. Um, I will be happy to share that list with everyone. Um, and, uh, uh, Janice, there's something you need to realize, and John, you need to realize this too, in case you don't already know it, is when you save a recording, such as you're doing today, it also saves the chat. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. It's good to so know. All that chat. Now, you may want to go through that chat and break it up per session. It would be much more useful to us as participants that are going back in to look at the information if it's kind of divided up so that, you know, this chat goes with this session and that chat goes with this session. Mm -hmm. 
We will absolutely do that. And Larry, I just want to thank you and everybody else. This is different from what other members have said. Um, thank you, everyone, for your engagement. I, I suspect that social media could replicate that in person, but I've been to a couple of large meetings um, online, and what I just love is the um, participant engagement. We all get to learn from each other in addition to learning from the presenters. And so I do hope as we um, you know, learn lessons from COVID and all of the adaptations that we um, have had to make, that that's one we can transition um, into our face-to-face um, -face, um, interactions because it adds so much depth and dimension um, personally to my experience. So thank you to everyone for your engagement across this very full afternoon. I wanted to add too that I, I made a comment here, but I always find these conferences not only enlightening, but comforting in the sense that we all are dealing with a lot of the same issues, right? And, and that's been first conference we had years ago, that was the thing I first started in ETDs. I was thinking, are we doing this right? Why are we having these issues? What is going on? We have these conferences and find out, you know what, everybody's dealing with about the same thing. And, but then there are people that have worked through these problems and worked through issues and offer these suggestions. So this, these conferences are always uh, wonderful to attend. And I uh, certainly second uh, thanking the US ETDA board for all of their efforts in, in making this a wonderful experience. It was- I it just was, like to say- This is all John, like we, we're just sort of here. Right, I just like to say that uh, a couple of years ago, this started out as me helping out a colleague to catalog a backlog of ETDs and uh, this conference has put everything better in the context and I do this kind of a new skill set. I've mostly been a music and media catalog librarian for 20 years of my career. And so it's nice to be put this, this new skill set in the context and see some faces. We're doing people are doing the same thing. So thank you to Savim and everybody else. Well, we certainly have a plethora of experts in our community, and it's wonderful to help each other out. So um, before we forget, <clears throat> our, one of our tasks at hand, I think we have uh, Stacy with us now. Do we want to go ahead and try a little raffle um, here? Well, Stacy and Sally? Yes, I was going to say, I'm, I'm here, but Sally's actually, I think, picking the number. Um, gotcha. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, I'm going to pick the number. I'm going to, hold on. So I'm picking the number. I'm, okay, I'm going to pick up an envelope. You, I'm randomly picking a number. Okay, I was going to ask if you want little. somebody from the audience to oh, give yeah, a number. No, we like, could do that. I can, or we could, like, I, I'll just, like, I, I have an envelope, but I'm going to randomly use a number. Okay, this is not rigged, folks. We just, we're trying to figure out, you know, <laughs> yeah, logistics. No, I, just, like, I just picked up the first on the fly. envelope that was next to me. It's my, you know, it's a credit card statement. So she's, she's, she's going to give me a two-digit number. I We have, um. Our system assigns user IDs like randomly to okay. people. So I got the registration list in front of me, and she's going to have a number. Two, two digit number. Uh -huh. Go and ahead. And whoever, like, I just the two digit number is 2323. So whoever has the numbers two and three together consecutively in their sign in, if John can find one, you get a prize. There, Sally, there isn't oddly enough there are addresses, but there's no combination two, three, and ID numbers. Okay. I'm gonna try right. that again. So I'm gonna go with another number. Let's go with two four. Okay. Here we go. Number four two four is Victoria Volcanova. Oh, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, highlight this so we we'll remember to get back to these people. Um, it'd be neat if we had somebody in our session, but I think we're down about fifty people and we had 200 i think we had 150 at one of the plenary sessions that was the max but you know how these virtual things go i um, checked for victoria and and she's not among the participants at, at this moment but exciting for her yeah she gets okay. congratulations Great. victoria all right so i'm gonna okay. pick another number hold on i'm picking up a piece of paper that is my um oh that's a weird number okay so the next two digit number is two one Okay, it's number 218. It's Sam Bird from Virginia Commonwealth University. I'll bold him. Okay, great. Hey, Virginia Commonwealth. Okay. Okay. All right. And one more? Yes, please. Okay, I'm picking up another piece of paper. And 
And the first number I see is four or five. Four or five. Okay, there's four five three. That's Catherine Astor from Stanford University. Yay. Yay. Okay. Cool. So uh, I think we have taken care of that. We should have announced this at the beginning of the session. You know, I, we thought about it at the very last second. But if you come to our live conferences, we, you know, us, we, we spend a set amount of money every year, same as it's been for the last 10 years. Stacy knows about this. But we managed to get a lot into our budget um, for the price we pay for things. And it's a very small percentage of the proceeds. But everybody loves the swag. Oh, and for people who are asking, just like, just because I've had a few people ask, this is my chinchilla. He is in chinchilla. His name is Bubba Duffy Snappy Tart. And <laughs> he goes by Bub. And I thought he, that was what the raffle was about. We're going to get the chinchilla, okay, right? Well, I mean, you can have him. He poops everywhere and it's kind of is, it, is it for, for pets or food? Oh, 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 oh. I know it's terrible. It was Michael Moore's movie. <laughs> yes, this is Bob. He's he's been hanging out here all day long and listening. But, oh. you know, we used to have another chinchilla. We, he passed away. His name was Chauncey Boudreaux Bouvins the Third. Where do you come up with these names, Sally? It's, it's, it, those are long stories, but yes, they were Bubs and Chaunce. But yeah, this is Bubs. We also have two guinea pigs, but they're fighty jerks, and I'm not going to try to pull them out. But thank you, Courtney. We're going to have to hire you as an entertainment act for our next conference. Oh, yes. So, um, folks, we have, um, I think, another minute left on our official time clock here. <clears throat> My voice is going, obviously, <clears throat> but it's been a long day. But I'm just so excited that um, we had um, a wonderful time together. This was a really good day. Like, this was really good. I always love, like, the, for the person who said that this was their first ETD conference, it, they're really, like, they're wonderful. I've, I've gone to every one of them except the one in California, and that was just because I was, I, my, my work schedule wouldn't let me. But if you haven't gone to an in-person one, you should definitely go. Well, cross our fingers. <clears throat> we'll see <clears throat> what happens next year. I think we're going to review this next spring. We signed the contract with, <clears throat> or re-signed it for next September, um, yep. move the date from this year to next year. But we'll survey the landscape and see if it's going to be safe, and that's our primary concern. But I'm not at all displeased at all with the interaction with the Zoom. Um, and we might, um, we're looking at lots of models, but we might look at, you know, maybe doing a physical conference every other year or some other, you know, interesting scenarios. We'll have some interesting discussions among the board. <clears throat> and for those of you as participants, <clears throat> we'd love to have your input. And in fact, we'll put it together, together a post-conference survey and send that out to you all so you can rank us on what we did right and wrong with today's um, venue. But um, I think um, as far as I'm concerned, it's largely a, a huge success. And thanks to everyone who's, you know, um, helped to make that happen. So gang, it's 6.30 on my clock, <clears throat> probably the same on yours. Um, I am gonna bid you adieu. And thank you so much, everyone. And let's stay in touch. This has been a wonderful event and wonderful people that we've met yeah, along we, the way. We, oh, we're starting, like one of our groups, um, <clears throat> we're starting a chat, like a user chat every third Wednesday at 2 p.m. Check so, it out. Yeah. So we're going All to right. be sending that out. Excellent. Good. Okay, gang, everybody stay safe. And um, care, thanks everyone. again for thank joining you. us. Have Take care. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. So thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.